Pins could be taking place at any number of these places. We mentioned Notre Dame, Michigan, South Carolina visiting Georgia. Oregon makes the 2,000-mile trip to visit the Cavaliers. And then you've got Florida at Miami, their first tangle in a handful of seasons. And for the home team, Miami, their talent base isn't quite as strong as maybe it once was. Only five of their 22 starters rated four stars or higher coming out of high school with four in the ESPN 150. Back to Tom and Craig with the hurricane angle. Guys. Well, let's take a look at the Miami Hurricanes in these four categories. Quarterback, we included the tight ends along with the wide receivers, defensive tackle, and of course in the offensive line. Start off with quarterback. Even though this class lost the early commitment of Allen Edward, I still think they meet the need, Craig. Go ahead and put a yes check mark over there with Brad Kaya. And James Coley, the offensive coordinator, deserves a lot of credit for identifying Kaya way back in March when he really was an under-the-radar, not overly recruited player. A wide receiver tight end, if check marks were black and white, this color would be a charcoal. So I'm not overly excited about it, but I'm going to say it's a yes. With Chris Herndon as a tight end, I think a sleeper prospect and Daryl Langham as a wide receiver. So we got two yeses for them. I call that a soft yes. That's a soft yes. Yes, it's like, it's like jogging, yes. jogging with a soft J. Defensive tackle, without question, this is a no. And I think it's an area that does need to be addressed because the one thing about Miami's defense, they're undersized, particularly tackle to tackle. Love, love what they're doing on the edges, though, with Chad Thomas, Trent Absolutely. Harris, yeah, the edges are really covered. Good. Tackle, not so much just yet. In the offensive line, arguably the ACC's strongest unit of all teams in that conference. I would say yes. They know they're going to have some departures. Trevor Darling's on board, Casey McDermott, Riley Gibbons. So I think Miami, to this point, doing a nice job, riding a wave of momentum, and a big one this weekend versus the University of Florida. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, Jerry Hamilton once again, and for Miami, targeting speed once again. Who are they going after? I, I, the top receiver on the board, uh, remaining on the board, is Johnny Dixon out of West Palm Beach, Dwyer. It, exceptional speed. You know, he's going to visit NC State this weekend, officially. And then he also has a visit to Arkansas, Ohio State, and Alabama on November 8th. What's interesting about Dixon, he does not have an official visit planned to Miami at this time, but we'll be making an unofficial for the Savannah State game. Again, that's noon Eastern, Florida at Miami on ESPN this Saturday.